Hello everyone, welcome to Lime Guru channel. In this session, we are going to learn about layers in a Docker image. So let's get started. Before we directly talk about layers, so what is a Docker image? So Docker image, you can think of it's a stopped container. It's a template of a container using which you can create a container, right? And how Docker image is created? It is created using a Docker file. Now, if you uh, if I just write one sample Docker file, so let's say you will start with a uh, a base image. You will import some other base image, let's say from Alpine and the latest image. And then after that, you will write your own instruction. For example, you are writing, let's say a run command. You are writing uh, another command. Let's say you are changing your work directory. Then after that, let's say you are writing another command. So there can be another set of instructions. So this is your first instruction where you are importing some base image. Then you have second instruction. Then you have third instruction and then you have fourth instruction. Now, when you are going to build this image, how Docker builds the image. So let's understand that. So every instruction in your Docker file is treated as a layer in a uh, uh, when the Docker builds the image. So when, whenever the Docker builds the image, it reads it line by line so it will read the line one first and then line two and then line three and line four and it will start creating the layers internally so if i talk about uh, as as it goes sequentially it will start creating layer one for this instruction then for the second instruction it will create layer two then after that for the third instruction it will create layer three and then for the last instruction it will create layer 4 and there are so there are some uh, specific instruction for which layers are not created for example expose instruction environment instruction and one or two more uh, um, instructions are there for which layers are not created because those gets persisted as part of metadata in your docker image those are not execution related things those are not those things does not require any action during the build time, but rather those things are required at the runtime. So few commands does not create layers. But in this specific example, let's assume that all of the instructions are creating different, uh, different layers. So each line would be read one by one and Docker will create during the build time. Docker will create different layers and it will stack, stack up. All the layers will be stacked up. So if I give a stack representation of the same, so in the bottom, I'll have a layer one in my stack. Then I'll have layer two. Then I'll have layer three. And then I have layer four. So this is how the Docker is going to stack up my different layers. And every layer will have its own um, ID, which is kind of a crypto ID given. So unique ID, alphanumeric ID is given. Let's say it will have be a DC and then some more uh, characters should be there. It can have, let's say, AB2, have something like that. And then it can handle, let's say, P2, AB, something like that. And then layer four can have another ID, let's say, uh, DEF1, something like that, right? So every uh, layer is given ID uh, uh, when a layer is built. And once the Docker image is built, you'll get to see that how different layers are getting built and what are the IDs given to each of the layer, right? Now, let's say you have built uh, this image and you have given the image name, this image as name as, let's say my image, my image and tag is given as latest. So let's assume for the time being, right? So you have given the name uh, image and image name as my image and it is the latest image. Now let's uh, understand that now you're creating a new image. Uh, let's say you are creating a new image. Let me draw a boundary here. So let's say you are creating a new image now. So in the new image, what you are going to do is you are going to use my image as a base image. So you are going to write from my image latest so now you're going to use my image as a base image and then again you have more instructions let's say work you're going to change work directory you're going to run some command then you are you have a command instruction again let's say there are four instructions one two three four now again let's say the layer names given in this case are layer let's give some other names layer one dash for this it is layer two dash for this it is layer three dash and for this, it is layer four dash. 
ओके नाउ लेयर वन डैश लेयर वन डैश कंसिस्ट ऑफ फोर लेयर्स इंटरनल लेयर वन लेयर टू लेयर वन लेयर टू लेयर थ्री एंड लेयर फोर बिकॉज बिकॉज वी आर यूजिंग माई इमेज डॉट लेटेस्ट एंड माई इमेज डॉट लेटेस्ट इंटरनली कंटेन्स फोर लेयर्स इन इट सेल्फ सो लेयर वन इन इट सेल्फ इज ए स्टैक ऑफ फोर डिफरेंट लेयर्स सो इफ आई रिप्रेजेंट माई लेट से आई गिव इट ए नेम एज माई इमेज टू आई एम गिविंग दिस इमेज एज नेम एज माई इमेज टू एंड टैग एज लेटेस्ट सो इन दिस केस for the my image to latest what will be my stack look like so my stack will look like let me write down in a clean page so my stack will look like layer 1 dash then i have layer 2 dash then i have layer 3 dash then i have my layer 4 dash right so this is the stack it will look like and every layer has its own id but layer 1 in itself is a combination of four different layer which is layer 1 2 3 4 so the actual stack would be layer 1 layer 2 layer 3 layer 4 so this is a representation of layer 1 dash and then we'll have the rest of the layers which is layer 2 dash layer 3 dash and then layer 4 dash in the in the top so this is going to be my layering in my docker image which is my image 2 so this is all the layers and these layers have been shared from my image 1 layer layer 1 2 3 4 have been shared from my image 1 so these are specific to my image 1 and then 2 dash 3 dash and 4 dash have been created as part of my image 2 now if you create one more image using my image 2 then all these layers are going to be reused in the new image also and then additional layers would be stacked up as you as you will create in a new image so this is the concept um, of reusability of layers every layer is given a unique id and docker checks whether that particular layer already exist on your local system or whatever system on where you are trying to pull the docker image whether it already exists that layer or not if that layer already exists so only those layers will not be downloaded again only those layers will be download downloaded which does not exist already in your system where you are running your docker docker pull command and this is how the reusability and stacking up of the layers concept work in a uh, in a docker environment i hope you got the high level concept that how docker optimizes uh, your docker image using the concept of layers using the concept of reusability of layers um, um, and how it works internally at the build time of a uh, docker image If you got the concept do press the like button do share this knowledge with others and do subscribe lime guru channel thank you